Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. This would be a good time to silence your cell phones. Please welcome the graduates of the TABC class of 2024 as they enter for their processional. Please remain seated as they enter. Please remain seated. Good evening. In place of Chazen Hirschtik, father of our graduating senior Noam and current sophomore Shai, um, Chazen Hirschtik is recovering from a mild cold, so we call upon his understudy, our music maestro, Mr. Jacob Spadaro, to lead the anthems. Following the national anthems, please remain standing for the responsive recitation of Tilim and the Mishaberach for Chayalei Tzahal. The Mishaberach will be sung by our senior members of the TABC Choir, Eitan Goldstein, Aaron Major, and Jacob Astatcher. Please rise for the national anthems.
Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave? O'er the land of the free and the home of the As we recite Mizmor Koflamid, please keep the following cholim in mind. Hunide Rifua Shlema, Akiva Shalom Ben Chana Zissel, Elchanan Ben Shira Esther, Shlomo Zalman Ben Golda. Shir Hamalos, Mimamaki Im Grossi Adonai. Adonai Shema Vikoli, Tena Oznecha Kashuvos, Lakol Tachadunai. Yim Avonos Tishmar Yah, Adonai Mi Yamod. Ki mecho haslicha leman tibore. Ki visi adonai ki veson avshi vledvaro hochalti. Nafshi la donai. Mishal Marim La Boker, Shal Marim La Boker. Yachel Yisrael El Adonai, Ki Im Adonai Yachesed V'arbei Mofedus.
Vehu yifta es Yisrael mikol avonosov. Please be seated. Welcome, Rebeim, faculty, parents, grandparents, and great grandparents, siblings, aunts, and uncles, and other family members who have joined us for the celebration of the class of 2024. It is my pleasure now to introduce our class speakers this evening. We are blessed this year with two valedictorians who will represent their classmates, Micah Saronik and Gilad Jutkowitz. As a measure of their innate humility and natural generosity, I want their families and classmates to know then when Micah and Gilad were told separately that they would share this honor, their reactions were exactly the same. Both Micah and Gilad said, I wish I could share the honor with all of my classmates. In addition to our valedictorians tonight, 
We're also proud to call upon another graduating senior who will lead a siyum on Masechet Brachot. Those 62 Dapei Gemara were completed by the Talmidim of Rabbi Fridman's senior shir over the course of the year. We are honored that Ilan Nissel will conduct this siyum and that Kaddish will be recited by Rabbi Fridman. And so we will hear first from Micah, followed by Ilan. Then please turn your attention to the screens to watch a video teacher tribute to the class of 2024. Later, we will hear from Gilad, who will be followed by our Rosh Yeshiva, Rabbi Khan, with Tivrei Baracha. Micah. Good evening, everyone. Bereshus Rebbeim, Rosh Yeshiva, esteemed faculty, dedicated parents, the students behind me, Isaacson. First and foremost, I would like to thank Hashem for allowing me to be here today, for giving me siyata deshmaya and everything that I do, and most importantly, for limiting my athletic ability so I had time to focus on my GPA. Words cannot describe how indebted I am to my parents, and I would just like to thank them for all their support and for being the best role models I can possibly try to emulate. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, and I speak for the class on this one, to all the faculty, rebellion, teachers, and administrators with whom we've interacted over the past four years. The impact you've had on each and every one of us is tremendous. So thank you. Just a few weeks ago, we read this foundational imperative in Parsha's Emor. The Torah's warning against causing a Chil Hashem and the inverse positive commandment to affect a Kiddush Hashem. For most of our lives, we've heard the familiar term Kiddush Hashem often. As we loaded the buses for a TBC trip, we would typically be reminded by one of our many principles. That one had to be said. <laughs> to quote, make a Kiddush Hashem. To clean up after ourselves and not to leave a mess. Or to say thank you to the staff at wherever it was we were heading. In this sense, the directive to make a Kiddush Hashem basically reduced to not causing a Chil Hashem. But this term, Kiddush Hashem, in its original context, has always carried a distinct, deeper, and more serious connotation. One that has been so emblematic of these last few harrowing months. And that is to be Moser Nefesh al Kiddush Hashem. Every one of the victims of the October 7th massacre perished al Kiddush Hashem, and certainly every one of our Chayalim, who laid down his or her life protecting Am Yisrael, do so al Kiddush Hashem. In reference to this latter distinct meaning of Kiddush Hashem, the Gemara in Sanhedrin, which we learned together as a yeshiva last year, recounts that Rabbi Yochanan mentions the enhanced stringency in engaging in an act of Kiddush Hashem bifar hesya, in public. See, although one is typically required to lay down his life for only three specific averos, avodah zara, adultery, or murder, in public, every mitzvah is amplified to the yaharig va'al ya'avor level of those three. Everything becomes that much more significant as the stakes of public decision-making and action are higher. TBC has provided all of us with a warm and nurturing environment these last four years, where the Torah is inspiring, the rebbeim and teachers are kind and approachable, the energy is palpable, and they only charge us a short $20 to take the boot off our cars if we parked in the teacher's lot. <laughs> we have grown collectively as a class and as individuals into B'nai Torah and Ovde Hashem, and the first senior grade to lose color war. <laughs> to sophomores at that. And while this warm environment has afforded us opportunities and Kiddush Hashem to uphold the values our parents instilled in us and TBC helped us hone, it has always, in a sense, 
bin bitzina, in private, and within these friendly walls. Adhering to these values and making a Kiddush Hashem B'far Hesya beyond the walls of TBC is a challenge that our te- Rebbeim and teachers have been preparing us for. Today we stand ready. In just a few short moments, my classmate Ilan Nissel, otherwise known as Nis Don't Miss, will recite the paragraph of Hadron Allah as he makes a siyam. The famed words of the Hadron are recited every time we make a siyam on a Seder of Mishnah or Masechta of Gemara. The words Hadron Allah literally mean, I'll return to you, Maseches X. The message of such a statement is genuinely beautiful. After having spent hours and hours of intense learning, working towards a goal, we shift our emphasis to the future, and we vow that we will always return. I could not think of a more befitting parallel to a TBC graduation, except for the hours of intense learning, of course. Don't worry, I'm joking. Your par- tuition was well worth it, parents. All of our beloved Rebbeim and teachers at TBC have been preparing us for what the future holds. As my Rebbe Rabbi Friedman is fond of reminding us, there is no such thing as a former Talmud or student, only those Talmudim who sit in daily shir or class and those who don't anymore. I'm confident that every single Rebbe or teacher in the school shares that very same sentiment. Class of 2024, make no mistake. Tonight is a momentous occasion and a huge accomplishment. As we move on to our bright and diverse futures, which I can say for this class will be either Wayu or Turo, <laughs> never hesitate to return to your teachers, Rebbeim, parents, or any one of your 62 friends on this stage as we navigate what lies ahead. Mazel tov, everyone. Before I begin, I would like to give out a tremendous Akar Satov to, fee- to a few people in particular. First of all, I have to thank my Rebbe, Rabbi Friedman, who, when he first sent me on this journey, I have to admit, it was an assignment. It was part of a curriculum, but that quickly changed. It quickly transformed into something more, a lesson uh, about being Kovea Itim Latora, setting aside time to learn and really putting in effort and sweat and blood into the learning that we do. And for that, I thank you. Secondly, I'd like to thank my father, who spent countless hours Shabbos afternoons learning with me, foregoing many a Shabbos nap in the process, and really always making sure that I finished each Gemara portion by the end of the week, and that I understood the Rashis, that I understood the Tosvos, and for that I am thankful. Finally, I'd like to thank Rabbi, Rabbi Stochel, who approached me with this tremendous honor of presenting before you today. The Gemara in Brachos ends with a very famous Gemara, one which we recite at the end of Masaf every Shabbos. Amar Balazar Amar B'Richanina Tamidei Chachamim Marbim Shalom Ba'olam Tamidei Chachamim Increase Peace in the World because the Pesach says, all your children, students of Hashem, and much peace for your children. But Rabbi Hanina says something so profound. Don't read the Pesach as your sons, rather your builders. All of your builders, students of Hashem, and much peace for your builders. All of us who sit behind me today are Banim Lashem El Kechem. Logo doesn't lie. But as we now take the next steps in our journey, as we go from students to alumni, from young men to adults, and we leave the TABC banner, we should be Zocha, and this is the bracha I give all my classmates, to embrace our new roles as Bonim builders of peace in the world, and working towards a brighter future. 
Shalom Rav Lo Havei Sar Secha Ve'Ein La Mo Much peace for those who love your Torah and not for them an, ob- an obstacle. Yehi Shalom Mechelech Shalva B'Armen Osayech. There will be much peace in your wall and tranquility in your palaces. Lemana Chayver Ei Adaber Na Shalom Bach. For the sake of my brothers and friends who sit behind me today, I say now peace for you. Laman Beis Hashem Elokeinu Avaksha Tovlach. For the sake of the house of Hashem our God, I ask good for you. Hashem Hashem gives strength to his people. Hashem blesses his people with peace. Hadron Alach Meseches Brachos. Hadron Alach Meseches Brachos v'Hadrach Alan. Datan Alach Meseches Brachos v'Datach Alan. La Nishdei Minach Meseches Brachos v'La Sisim Shei Minan. La Baal Mahaden v'La Baal Madasei. Hadron Alach Meseches Brachos v'Hadrach Alan. Datan Alach Meseches Brachos v'Datach Alan. La Nishdei Minach Meseches Brachos v'La Sisim Shei Minan. La Baal Mahaden v'La Baal Madasei. Hadron Alach Meseches Brachos v'Hadrach Alan. Hashem <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> We all command your skin be raised at the Viasra Hadain, Vidi Becholas Arvasar. Ye hail the Hon of Hon Shamaraba, Hina Vichis, the Rachem in Vachayariche, Umizone Rebiche for Kanam in Kadam Abundi Bishmaya, Bim Ramein. Ye hail Shlamaraba min Shemaya, Vichayim Aleinu, Vel Kol Yisrael, Bim Ramein. O Se Shalom, Bim Ramav, who ya Se Shalom, Aleinu, Vel Kol Yisrael, Bim Ramein. Shrek once said that ogres are like onions. They have many layers. I believe that the class of 2024 are also like onions, that they have many layers. And the more you get to know them, the more you understand them, the more depth you uncover, and the more you grow to appreciate who they really are.
My first memory of the class of 2024 is that in September 2020, we were both TUPC freshmen. I think we were probably both nervous, the students and me. My first memory of the class of 2024 was meeting everybody in masks. I remember telling the class, this isn't going to work. We got to go outside. We went outside to the patio, told everybody to take off the masks to make sure we could meet everybody face to face in person. It was a very comical moment. I remember walking into a shear. I think it was Rabbi Stone. And I sat in the back for an observation. And everyone was seated. He took attendance, started to teach. Ten minutes later, two members of this class uh, burst into the room. Rabbi Stone says, where have you been? It's ten minutes late. And they say, we were talking to Rabbi Stochel. Laser Cohen used to bring in really stinky Dunkin' Donuts food that would make our room smell um, not pleasant. That when the next class would walk in and be like, what's this smell every day? I came a couple of minutes late and I walked into class and the entire class is sitting quietly listening to Jeremy Kessler talk about Chinese politics at the front of the classroom. Ravioni invited me to join the end of year Shalashudas uh, learning program at the Vogels. Um, and I came and it was really, really Labadic and these juniors were clearly ready to step into leadership positions. They were ready to bring their energy, their positivity, their ruh, and they led singing in a beautiful way. One word that describes this grade. Um, interesting, very interesting. Unique. Personality. The word I would use to describe them is likable. If I could describe this class in one word, it would be smiling. Absent. Vivacious. Persistent. Eccentric. Misunderstood. The one word I would use is resilient. They've had lots of challenges over the course of their high school career, and they've uh, risen to the occasion. An incredible moment with this class took place at the Yarche Kala. Beautiful, beautiful field, beautiful day. The seniors took on the Rebbeim, and Baruch Hashem, the Rebbeim came out on top with a great victory. One particular memory was not of Donnie Grunfeld asking for a Duncan period. Rather, Donnie had informed me that an ice cream truck had already been ordered. And in 10 minutes, it would be at TABC. We only had a little time to learn that period. It's gonna be a long time until we have another grade with the right combination of creativity and out of the box thinking that turned me into a cereal mascot on a box of Tiffin brand. They uh, often took their musical talent and used it towards learning how to memorize various things they needed for their AP exam. They have all kinds of songs that help them along their way. Concave down, concave down. We went to Queens together to the Ohel and, and for lunch. We made chulant and chasidas, played kickball. We went on the Arche Kala. They brought a pickleball set, it's the first time I ever saw it, and they turned the courtyard into just a huge pickleball scene, and the games were going on for hours and hours and hours. My favorite memories with this grade is on Purim, when they go dancing around the building and they make their way to my office, and it adds simcha to my chag as well. It's more than a moment, because it happens all the time. Uh, going into a late night Mariv at B'nai Yashurin or Renat, and the number of students from this grade who are there every night learning together Bechavrusa or on their own is really, really impressive. One of the things I'm going to miss the most about this class is the amazing pit that they would run in the fan section. We'll definitely miss them and the juniors have some big shoes to fill. I will miss most about this grade is Ronnie Lukianov's art. I have a number of original Ronnie's hanging in my room. What am I going to miss most about this grade? I would say the uncertainty of where the day was going to take me. They were willing to try new things. They're uh, open to new ideas. You never know what anybody's going to say at a given moment. Always keep you on your toes. Whether it's the learning that they do in the classroom or outside during a solar eclipse, looking up at the moon and chanting, defense, defense. What I'm going to miss most about this grade is uh, their ability to have fun and uh, their unity amongst them. They spend a lot of time sitting around my office talking to each other, talking to me. They're fun, they're fun to be around. I have students permanently sitting in my office from 8.30 until five. Why they aren't in class, I can't tell you. I just know that they have a lot of college questions. I'm gonna miss most their energy and their enthusiasm, but also I'm gonna miss the fact that I've never known TABC without them. To the class of 2024, there are so many amazing skills and values and things that you can do. You're such an amazing group of guys, such good personalities, so much potential. Potential 
for leadership, for growth, for Talmud Torah. You should always be able to figure out a way to take the energy and the passion and the zeal with which you do everything and direct it towards things that will be good for Am Israel, good for your communities, good for the world. Never underestimate how much value you have, how much you can contribute to Klal Yisrael. I hope that you will bring your persistence with you wherever you go and that you use it for good. Whatever you choose to do in life, do it with all of your heart and you will be successful. We'll always be a, a home here at uh, TABC for you to come back and visit. We love you very much. We'll miss you very much. Please stay in touch. I hope that sense of self-discovery continues, that sense of growth continues. You're able to see inside of yourselves what we see in you, which is something incredibly special. By the way, you're about to hear me say more words in the next four minutes than I said in all four years of high school. So. Bershus, Rabbi Khan, Rabbi Stochel, Rabbeim, family, and guests. I'd like to begin by thanking the TABC administration, Rabbeim, teachers, and everyone who guided me during my four years here, setting me up for success in the next chapter of my life. I would, of course, also like to thank my boys for making high school as good a time as it could possibly be. Finally, I want to thank my family for supporting and encouraging me and being there for me in whatever I do. I could already see the tear rolling down my mom's cheek. <laughs> Someone want to get her some sunglasses and tissues? <laughs> I shouldn't embarrass her too much because I'm not trying to lose my car. <laughs> Let's talk about limits. We all have them. Those supposed boundaries that define what we're capable of. But what if I told you that those were simply illusions fabricated by our own minds? Think about a time when you achieved something you once thought impossible. Maybe it was acing an exam, landing a dream job, bench pressing 500 pounds. There was a point where you overcame that so-called limit and realized you're capable of more than you ever imagined. As the second greatest basketball player of all time, Michael Jordan once said, <laughs> we'll talk after, oh, six championships, we'll talk later. You must expect great things of yourself before you can do them. We are taught in Perkei Avos, Perek Aleph, Mishnah Yadalit. Em enani li, mi li. If I am not for me, who will be for me? How can you expect to succeed if you don't even believe in yourself? Life is short. There's no time to wait around for the validation of others or an external source of motivation. Those things are fleeting and unpredictable. But a strong belief in yourself stays forever. Staying confident all the time is no easy task, especially with all the noise of the world around us. One person has nicer shoes, another is better looking, there's always someone to whom we can compare ourselves who appears to be bigger, better, stronger, and faster. Life can be very distracting and dispiriting. My Rebbe, Rabbi Kessel, once shared a mushal which has stuck with me to this day. Picture a go-kart track. You're a child waiting in line for your turn, watching the cars go round and round. The purple one is the fastest, the blue one's a bit slower, the red one struggling behind. A small child may think it's the driver is determining the speed of the car, but a logical observer knows that it's not. It's the car itself. That's important to remember when navigating the challenges we will undoubtedly face in adulthood. We may think we are all on the same track, equipped with the same machinery, but we must remember that we have each been assigned a specific lane with its own bumps and potholes and no one is driving the same car. God gave each of us a unique set of talents and abilities, as well as challenges and obstacles we must overcome. Our limits, unlike those of a simple go-kart on a flat open track, 
are not concrete or quantifiable, they are infinite. Throughout my quick four years at TABC, I didn't get to know every person in the grade as well as I would have liked to. But I know without question that everyone in this grade is extremely gifted in his own way. My advice to you is to embrace all the talents you are blessed with. Take what you were given and bring it to new heights. Set goals, dare to take risks. View life not as a competition with others, but with yourself. View failure not as something dragging you down, but as a launching pad for improvement. As the greatest basketball player of all time, LeBron James once said, don't be afraid of failure. This is the way to succeed. The mission in Perkeavos continues. When I am for myself alone, what am I? These four words are an important qualifier. After the tragic events of October 7th, the achdut that has emerged amongst the Jewish people has been awe-inspiring. Am Yisrael has risen to the occasion of these unprecedented times, whether by fighting on the front lines, commitment to tzedakah, tefillah, and chesed, or collectively honoring the memories of our fallen brethren. Seeing the heart and soul of the Jewish people come to light during this past year has encouraged me. Wherever we go, we are not alone. Our brothers have our backs and we have theirs, no matter what. It reminds me of these past four years. TABC was the ultimate brotherhood. We've learned to lift each other up, build relationships with our Abayim and teachers, and in turn mentor underclassmen as they navigate their way through their unique high school journeys. TABC taught us that we are a part of something bigger than ourselves. It is a lesson I and my fellow graduates will carry with us forever. Thank you, Mazel Tov. Colloquially, we refer to tonight as graduation. However, the official name for this evening is commencement. It's an interesting name since commencement is really defined as a beginning or start, whereas graduation implies completion. Doesn't the title graduation seem more appropriate to capture what tonight is all about? It's true that tonight reflects a transition serving both as the end of high school, simultaneously the beginning of the next phase. However, why do we focus on starting something new, commencing, rather than on what we are completing? Class of 2024, as you've heard so often throughout your time at TABC, the rich wisdom of the Torah provides us with valuable lessons and insight to dilemmas and problems. As we begin Safer by Midbar, perhaps, we can gain a deeper understanding of why graduation is called commencement and the lesson to glean from this word choice and point of emphasis. Sefer Bamidbar in many ways mimics and mirrors Sefer Shmos. Both svarim involve journeys. Both include B'nai Yisrael complaining about food and water. In both svarim, B'nai Yisrael sin in a manner in which Hashem wants to join us. And yet, Rabbi Jonathan Sachs points out a fundamental difference between Sefer Shmos and Sefer Bamidbar. Sefer Shmos focuses on a journey from, while Sefer Bamidbar focuses on a journey to. In Shmos, we're running away from Mitzrayim, while in Bamidbar, we read about our journey to Eretz Yisrael. While journeys typically involve a place from which we're departing, as well as a place to which we are going, the point of emphasis is highly instructive. A journey from, means that I'm running away, leaving, dissatisfied with the previous, not wanting to bring anything with me. Not only is the past negative, but I do not see the bright future either. I'm not running toward something. There's nothing desirable ahead. Rather, I'm running away. A journey too, on the other hand, reflects a commitment to bring the past with me, and an optimism, and even a passion and excitement for what lies ahead in the future. The past helps to build the future, a future that I'm working towards. In many ways, a journey from is easier, 
We are naturally wired to flee from danger. Fight or flight teaches us instinctively to journey from anything bad. A journey to is much more challenging. It means traversing my own path, taking a risk, and wandering into the unknown. On a deeper level, what Sefer Ben Midbar is teaching us in this lesson is to appreciate that life must be filled with aspirations and with vision. I must consider where I want to go, what I want to do, what is important to me, and then run towards it. Life is not meant to be spent running away, avoiding undesirables, since that will not achieve happiness or fulfillment. A life spent journeying to is a life in which we will achieve great joy, meaning, fulfillment, and success. Journeying to means a life in which is additive, a life in which I take the value from each and every experience and incorporate it into who I am and what I am about. Class of 2024, tonight the commencement exercises reflect the start of the next chapter, your journey towards your continued growth. It represents your commitment to building on the chapter you're completing here at TABC. It reflects your excitement for what lies ahead. It is a journey to the next, genera the next destination, towards your next experience of learning and religious growth. A journey in which you will take all that you have learned at TABC and bring it with you towards the future. Graduates, you each have in you the ability to journey to a bright future. You have unique strengths and special talents. Consider what you want your future to look like. Consider what you will take from your TABC experience and who you will bring along with you on this journey. In order to take this leap, to journey towards the future, you need a strong foundation. This foundation is the support that you're graduating with. You have loving and supportive families who have helped you reach this milestone tonight. Please give a round of applause to your parents. You have Rebbeim and teachers who have not only been deeply invested in your success for the past four years, but remain committed to you as you move to the next chapter of your life. Please give a round of applause to your Rebbeim and teachers. You have the best friends you can ask for. You are a united and unified grade who we know will continue to support each other. And please give each other a round of applause. You each have your own profound relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, a connection to Torah, to Tefillah, to Chesed, to Shmiras HaMitzvos. You have a solid academic foundation, both of knowledge and of skills. You have developed a sense of self, a healthy self-image and an appreciation of your role and your responsibility to Am Yisrael and to Eretz Yisrael. This year in particular, this sense of connection to Am Yisrael and to Eretz Yisrael is particularly palpable, and we know how deeply you have felt it. Each of these are the building blocks for your journey to the next phase of your growth. This foundation will help you on your continued journey towards. I want to conclude with an old Nike commercial. Yesterday, you said, tomorrow, just do it. Gilad, I'm sorry, I think that's Michael Jordan, probably. As you commence, and start this next journey, follow your passion, journey to, and you will achieve great things. Remember that your journey to your continued growth and aspiration starts now. And remember that today was yesterday's tomorrow. Do great things, Mazel Tov. And now the moment you have all been waiting for, the awarding of the diplomas to the class of 2024. <clears throat> Members of the graduating class of 2024, we, the faculty and administration of the Torah Academy of Bergen County, present you for graduation. By the authority invested in us by the state of New Jersey, 
We declare that you have met all the requirements to earn a high school diploma in the state of New Jersey. You have demonstrated the character and integrity intrinsic to our yeshiva's mission. It is our tikva and tefillah that you will each continue to aspire to the heights of achievement and distinction, that you will be successful in your quest toward Torah or mitzvot, that you will each find peace and fulfillment and enjoy health and prosperity in meeting and surpassing all challenges, and that you will assume the mantle of spiritual leadership and Torah learning as a member of Am Yisrael with enthusiasm and confidence. Boys, row in the back, please rise. Rabbi Finkelstein, please begin to announce each graduate's name. Ezra Alter. Or Avishor. Thank you, thank you. Daniel Oraba. <laughs> David Bennis. Anil Berkowitz. <laughs> Yaakov Beta. <laughs> David Beton. Max Borger. <laughs> Izzy Bromberg. Ellie Karen. <laughs> Laser Cohen. <laughs> Micah Seralnik. Mikhail Dresner. <laughs> Noah Mechman. Matis Field. Shea Fields.
Eitan Goldstein. Ezra Graubert. Donnie Grinfeld. Aiden Gurin. Ari Herman. <laughs> Noam Hirschtick. Thank you for it. Shia Hirsch. Daniel Huerta. Yosef Isaacson. Shmuel Isarovich. Gila Jutkowitz. <laughs> Jeremy Kessler. Gabi Kalimnik. Eitan <laughs> Kirschenbaum. <laughs> Kenny Koenig. Matis Kraus. <laughs> Lady Lazar. Eitan Lefkowitz. Oren Leitner. Nitanel Lipschitz. Zach Lowy. Ronnie Lugiano. Amitai Macklin.
our own major. Rafi Morrison. Elon Nissel. Hanina Nussbaum. Jacob Alstatcher. Jonathan Perchuk. Noah Rabinowitz. Jonathan Rahimi. Bencion Rich. Yitzhak Rosenfeld. Akiva Ravner. Yaakov Solomon. Zachary Samuel. Josh Schneider. Charlie Simmons. Ozzy Simpson. Joshua Smolarczyk. Isser Statmauer. Eitan Sulemanov. <laughs> Oliver Teicher. <laughs> Eitan Vogel. Alex Weinberg. Yeah. 
Binyamin Wenger. And Benny Zellig. A few announcements before we ask our graduates to move their tassels in preparation for the recessional. We ask that all parents, grandparents, and guests remain seated throughout the recessional. After the recessional, Please join us next door that way in our hockey gym for a celebratory collation. We'll have two Marivs, Marv up front here in about five minutes, and a second Marv in half an hour, we'll say at 9.15 in the base medrash. And finally, we want to express our appreciation to Sharon Rifkind, Sarah Grinfeld, Maya Angler. I didn't get to finish the list. Aliza Fishman and Jacob Spadaro, who worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring this event to its fruition. Graduates, please rise. Well done, quietly even. First, we ask you to turn to your family sitting before you to thank them for raising, loving, supporting you, and bringing you to this magical moment. Please once again give your parents a round of applause. Please now turn to your Rebbeim and teachers, that way, who have taught you Torah and Mada, who have conferred upon you the knowledge, skills, and values to march into your future. Please give them a round of applause. And now, you may move your tassels from right to left. You are now alumni of TABC. Mazel Tov and Hatzlacha Rabbah.